Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's Hearthstone time. So next up in Heroic Blackrock Depths here, show you it is Heroic, well, I don't need to go back and show you it's Heroic. He's got zero cost now on his string crowd, so he's going to get a 1-1 Spectator with Taunt every turn, for free. And it's interesting, I think I'm going to try with the first deck that I had sort of designed for that, but... But in practice, I'm not sure if it's going to be the best, because I actually took out the AoEs, thinking that he'd be getting bigger guys. But still, there's a lot of powerful stuff in this uh, Shaman deck to try and just combat the powerful Legends buddy he's going to be putting out. I don't know if I've got specific ways to deal with the 1-1s, though. Honestly, I should have just tried the same warrior deck again, which has been barely tweaked at all. I did keep it around, not really thinking it'd be right, but if I was really thinking about it, I would have probably tried that deck, because it might work again. But we're going to try just shamanizing things for now. Uh, maybe get the hex later. We want to get some minions that are castable. Ah, mechs. We like mechs. I haven't played around much with a Shaman mech deck, but the Power Mace is one of the best mech support cards in the world. It is so gross. Yeah. Not Peggle, not as bad as Milhouse Manistore. I will say, I did the... I did the Mage Class Challenge again for fun once, and he Mealhouse Mana Stormed me. And that was fun. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> or go watch the, my Class Challenge video from earlier if you missed it. Um, oh, all he's got over there is a 1-1. One, one. Oh, man, like I, I should be playing the Mech Warper, but if I play the Zappomatic right now... No, I, it, it's not going to be able to get through them. I, I still got to get out the Mech Warper, just get my infrastructure going. Now, he might be getting some free cards out of Nat Pagel, and that's not great. That's a pretty early Karn Blood Hoof now. I'm wishing I had my Hex back. I don't know what he says when you threaten him. The elements will destroy you. Nobody can survive against all these legends. Not right, really settled there. Um. Okay. I don't know. She's burning with eternal hatred just for you. Yeah. Please welcome Sylvanas Windrunner. I have no time for games. Okay, he's going aggro on me. There's the power mace. So that that is helpful. Savannah's is not helpful. If I blow her up, I'm gonna lose one of my guys, which is also bad. Man. I think I wanna get out the power mace. But then what? I guess... Because so I can kill Nat Pagel with him, and that's pretty cheap. This is... Elements. I don't know how this is going to work out for me, though. How aggressively will it go after the Whirling Zappomatic? I don't know. Oh, you bastard! Oh my god, that was so bad. Like, there are so many times when that could have happened that it wouldn't have been quite as apocalyptic. That was bad. And I guess I got an opportunity to get rid of Sylvanas, but... Ugh. That's not even, because if I use my power mace now, I'm going to get screwed. I'm starting to wonder if maybe all these legends, there may not be that many who are big enough for Big Game Hunter. Hmm. 
Ah, oh, I'm going to waste the Power Mace's buff if I take him out. I've pretty much got to do it. I don't have a lot of choice here. Guide me. Pairbot's probably going to help him. So I could kill Mechatork and then have no guys out, but then I've already attacked this turn, so I can't take Sylvanas out that way. I guess I could kill him, then Lava Burst her. That'd be one less problem. And it increases the chances that this would heal me. Man, this is not good, though. Give him a spare part. I don't know if he knows what to do with it. I'm sure he's capable of playing them. I just may not. It may not be the smartest. Gotta get rid of her obnoxiousness. Healing totem. That's okay. I don't think it mattered too much what totem I got right at that point in time. Ugh. Faux Reaper is just too small, isn't it? Rockbiter is only friendly minion. If I could Rockbiter that and then. Big game hunter, it'd be awesome, but no, Faux Reaper's gonna crush me. Uh, I'm actually just dead, aren't I? Wow, bad. I can't play this. So yeah, no, that's uh, that's pretty poor. Um, I guess I'm not technically dead. In theory. He doesn't have enough damage on the table to kill me this turn. And if he doesn't have lethal damage, he might actually go the other way. I guess that made more sense than Alex Straza himself, but it was still pretty dumb. Well, he's, he gets out Alex Straza out of the deal. I guess that's not that dumb. Okay, we've got a Hex. We can do deal with him, but then that still leaves the Faux Reaper out there annihilating us. I mean, we've got to got take out Alexstrasza. Unfortunately, when he takes out one of them, he might become a valid target for the Repair Bot, which could otherwise be saving my bacon. Oh no, he'll get healed by this first. Awesome. Um... Do him or Faux Reaper. If I can only hex one, he's not going to wreck my army the same way as Faux Reaper. I think, as much as I want to get rid of his Death Rattle, I think it's more important to stop Faux Reaper, honestly. Oh, I hate to do this, but he's, he can just kill my entire army at basically no cost. Also, he had lethal damage, so I guess I had to do that one anyway. What, what was damaged other than me? What did he... Because my guy was healing totem, right? Oh, it's at the end of turn. Okay, I was wondering. Duh. We'll read the cards trick. Makes not, not fabulous, but not the worst. She has low DPS. Gotta get these guys killed, though. Hmm. Let's see what totem I'm getting. It's not gonna be about the cloaking field this turn. It's gonna be the taunt totem. That's pretty good. I'm thinking I don't want to kill the repair bot. I think at the moment I'm likely to be able to re manipulate the repair bot to my benefit. So I guess we're gonna gotcha. kill through these guys. I could blow up the repair bot, but again, I don't think that's actually helping me. Although, if I damage one of the other guys, then that's gonna stop the repair bot from healing me. <sighs> Tricky. I would only have a 50-50 chance to get 6 health if I do the damage to Karen Bloodhoof. You know what? I'm actually going to blow up the frog. Because this way I'm going to get healed for 6 if I survive the turn. Hot in the arena. 
Oh no. Baron <laughs> Giddens gonna mess up my healing base plans and everything. He came out first, so I think his heal will go off first this turn, but in the future I'm screwed. Norwalker Cho, also not good. Oh, you damaged one of my guys, so I didn't get the heal? Did you? No, you didn't. What? I'm confused. Whatever. I've got a power mace. So I can pump him up. Yeah. Oh. Well, I can't pump him up now, anyway. Who am I shooting? Okay, Fire Elemental should shoot him, presumably. I have to kill Baron Geddon. He's using a Fire Elemental, which, even though she can trade for the other Fire Elemental. It's not as bad as the alternative. And kill Lower Walker Cho, I guess. I'm trying to get this under control. I think using the rock better weapon is useful this turn. I think, yeah, we're gonna kill him. Gonna kill, kill Lord Walker Cho because that thing is bad for me. Not like my opponent has spells. That's right. We're not killing him, and I don't didn't see the point in hitting him. I mean, if he decides to kill that instead of suiciding against the fire elemental, then I can finish him off next turn. But when you've got twin war glaives. Certainly not Illidan Stormrage. You are not empty. He did do it that way. You dink. <laughs> Heal the right target, so that was excellent. Him healing makes that would have been unfortunate. So maybe I should have power maced her before. Unfortunately, I don't have a mech now, so I'm going to be wasting my power mace again. If I do that, uh, let's see what totem I get because I don't have a lot of options. Yeah, well, that is good option. Uh, I guess I'm gonna kill Max now because I can. Stupid power mace not working out. Such an amazing weapon, just not working out for me today. Um. Do I want to cloak the Flame Tongue Totem? I don't think it's going to get attacked this turn, so probably not. Got to... Have I stabilized this? I think so. Oh, I should have cloaked it! You bastard! That was so obnoxious and not stupid. God damn it. Okay, so much for stabilizing. This is bad. I'm going to note again, I don't have a lightning storm in here for whatever reason. I wasn't thinking that these guys were going to be the problem so much, or I thought they would be bigger. Uh, well, I've got enough mana for all cards, so we'll do totem first again. Let's see what I get. Whoop de doo. I think I'm going to have to suicide him to kill Illidan, because Illidan is becoming a problem really fast. If I rock biter myself, get rid of that guy. Kill it in, ill it in. He does as much damage as the flame tank. It's easier to kill, and he's spawning these problems. And this one's got 11 damage. I'm virtually dead. I really wish I'd cloak that thing. It would have been so much better. Uh, there's not really much point in buffing these guys. Our next challenger is hiding. Behind the controls of an old oh. shredder. It's fun dialogue, but... Ow. Wow, he decided my minions, my crap minions were not worth it. He's actually going for the kill. That's unexpected and bad. This thing has been my best friend. You are way too late in the game. That's not helpful at this stage. I don't think even a taunt totem can save me this time. It is a taunt totem. Uh. 
Yeah, my he's gonna have lethal damage, no problem. There's not really anything I can do about it. Yes, this kills that, and then I die. So, well, whatever. Attack mode. Ooh, free cloaking field. Wow, he did it the wrong way for maximum damage. And it doesn't matter because I was still very dead. He did it the right way for keeping his forces alive. Which is pointless because I was already dead. Alright, that was a little rough. Um, that, that could be okay. I think I would actually go back and replace the uh, the lava bursts with, uh, with the lightning storm. Which is more like I would, how I would do it normally anyway. But we're going to try... I have a couple different strategies. I think we're going to try the the warrior, though. Because this warrior was all do one damage to everything, and getting rid of those 1-1s one is actually probably going to be relevant. Plus, I might still be able to get off some of the crazy tricks that the deck is built for. And I did tweak it a little bit, mostly through in Kel'Thuzad, and... I don't think I threw Thorazan in this one. Because this deck is not as, like... It's got a lot of sort of low-casting -y sort of stuff. Uh, I don't think I need the early game crush. Even though it's really only a four cost card if you can arrange things. Hmm. Not feeling like a powerhouse with this hand though. I should maybe be using the mage version of the deck instead. Or the well, not version of the deck. The mage deck instead. Just in case of the mana storm start. Oh come on! Stop doing it! Every gun is... Uh, seriously. I played some practice games against him. He, he gets Millhouse Mana Storm start at least 50% of the time, is what it seems like. It's really, really obnoxious. If I was using the Mage deck, that might have been, like, a disaster for him. But I'm not, so he's going to laugh it off. Uh, I guess we're going to play the Bloodsail Raider to eat hits. It's pretty poor. I could have whirlwinded, I guess. Seems like a waste, though. All the way from the mission after this one, it's Emperor Horizon. What? Hold on. He starts with what? How does he? He starts with more mana. That is insane. That's like game over, man. There's no way I can deal with that. I'm not going to have enough mana. Next turn, I could play Death's Bite. Like, if I Whirlwind, he'll be damaged and stuff like that. But there's no way I'm going to be able to kill him unless my opponent does exactly what I need him to do. Which I guess is what we're going to do. I need my opponent to stupidly leave this alive, basically. And even then, even if I'm able to play this by kill Thorazan, I'm going to be at like 15 health or something. Yeah, you're all aggro, you're hiding behind the taunt, but those five cards are now cheaper, and that's bad news, because I'm already behind. My opponent started with more mana. It's dumb. Okay. Stick with the plan. Actually... Oh no, it's not going to do its one damage burst yet. Never mind. We have to kill him. I'm virtually dead already. Oh, really? I have four mana in my opponent's playing Alakir the Windlord. I didn't realize how much extra mana he was starting with. It's kind of insane. No way I can do this where I get rid of him. Well, I might be able to get rid of him. There's no way I do this where I survive. Different. I can actually get rid of him. So I can rampage her, hit him with the uh, with death bite, which I only take one damage from. Whee! 
that death bite will go off, do the one damage to finish off his, uh, or to take out his bubble. And meanwhile, she'll be big enough to trade for him. But, and toast. If I use the inner rage to kill this guy, I armor up, death spite him, then I'll be at one. I rampage her first, obviously. She'd be at five, four. So she'll take one damage. So she'll die from killing Alec here, which is going to happen anyway. Guess that's the only way for me to survive in the shortest of short terms. Oh no, he's got taunt. Okay, my plans all fail. I actually, if I'd attacked him, it would have gotten rid of the bubble. I don't think I could have survived anyway, but whatever. The mana advantage he starts with is ridiculous. Well, I don't think this is going to work, but we're going to try one more time before I go back to the drawing board. I'm going to try with my mage deck, which has been adjusted for this somewhat. I'm going to keep enslaving dwarves. I don't think it's going to work. It's almost at the point where I have to have a, the perfect hand against a Mana Storm draw. And I don't even know how that really helps me that much, because bursting her down isn't really going to help. This deck definitely has more sort of stuff for getting rid of big scary guys, but... Do I keep the starting hand Polymorph? Uh, it's kind of slow, although it would, it would protect me against Milhouse. Okay. Yeah, he starts with three mana, which I didn't notice last time because I'm a dullard. Oh. This is rough. Versus a single adventurer. Back from his latest fishing trip, Master Angler, Nat Pago. I can wait to push all the way on your fishing restless. <laughs> I can take it. So Nat Pago, not his ultimate start, but I mean, I'm so far behind him just to start with, it's kind of sick. Uh, do I play the sheep? Or just shoot this guy. I think I might want to hold on to that sheep. I might want to have more control of what goes on with the sheep and the duplicate and the who knows what. You want to get out mere entity next turn, hopefully. Oh, really? Stalag? That is a really rough guy for this early because I mean I can play the mere entity, but I'm gonna take a horrendous beating from just one turn of him. That's what we're gonna do though. We're gonna mere entity. And then maybe polymorph him next turn. Is no, but he's willing to make an exception. It's the beast. Okay, duplicate a guy with a disadvantage. That's awesome. He's really into burning me down too. Uh, Kona Cold might be good. Unstable portal is one of the ways to try and win. Because it's craziness. I could also, I could play the explosive sheep, shoot it, it would get rid of all these guys, and then I can attack whoever I want with the beast. I don't think that's actually helping me that much, necessarily. I think I'm just going to polymorph Stalag. This is going to beat my face in. And I hope I can kill it at some point, but... Also, unstable portal, see what I get. Just kill one of them and. Oh man. Look at the damage I'm taking next turn though 16, 17, 18. Like, he had to get the most aggressive damaging guys. It's really bad. Getting rid of his death rattle isn't that relevant, but getting rid of this guy's death rattle is actually costing me something potentially.
wow. It's just that if I spend my whole turn polymorphing him, I'm getting further behind, not getting ahead. That's what I hate. But if I unstable portal, it's going to be really random. I'm probably not going to get anything useful. If I get something that costs three or less, I can play it right away for free. Still probably not going to help, because then it's going to be a weaker card. Not polymorphing one of these guys is going to do too much damage for me, though. I'm going to kill one of them just to reduce the damage against me, even though I'm pretty sure I'm going to be sheeping them next turn. Not like the happy, friendly way that I sheeped him. It's the elemental lord. He loves to really? Well, I know who my beast is killing next turn, but I'm going to be so dead. There's no surviving that. I thought both unstable portals really early. Normally that would be amazing, but it, normally I wouldn't be this far behind before even starting. I, I can't actually do anything about it. Should just portal to see what I got. Because I can just take out his thing. And I kill him. Don't quite give my opponent a free guy, but then I'm super mega ultra dead. Yeah. You know what? I think I'm going to try that one more time because. I, he just had like an obnoxious start there. I think this is one where I might just have to bash my head at a against it a bunch of times. I can't think of a deck design that's going to be just a whole lot better than this one for fighting him. Uh, no. See, there's Frostbolt to a little bit better. If I can get the Arcanist going and growing and protect him, that would be pretty strong. We're going to pitch him, and we're going to pitch one of the Frost Bolts, because we're hoping for an Unstable Portal, actually. Or a Mirror Entity, those are good too. Portal Cold might have made a big difference last game. Ladies and gentlemen, have we got a show for you today? The greatest legends of Azeroth. Uh, it's just that starting with three extra mana, he's so far ahead. He has three extra mana and the coin, just so he can do that BS like, what was that second, third turn Thurizan last game? Or the first game? Milhouse Mana Storm, okay. That's what this deck was made for. I mean, I guess this deck wasn't really made for it because I'd be playing Arcane uh, Intellects and stuff. I didn't fit in the Arcane Intellects. And I guess against him, that would be awesome. Uh, he's given me as good a chance as I'm going to get, though. Uh, we're just going to cast all the spells. I'm going to have, like, nothing left for next round, but... Actually, I could save the Cone of Cold. How much is it really doing for me? Because I, I can just shoot him and Frostbolt him, and he'll be dead. Yeah, okay, never mind. We'll save the Cone of Cold. It, guessing it for free is tempting, but... I'm going to need that card for later in the game. But yeah, maybe I should have been just planning a whole deck around having, like, card drawing stuff and trying to get a ridiculous Millhouse Mana Storm start. That's just dependent. Like, he gets that Mana Storm start, like, half the time. Okay, so I get a free Toshley, and he's probably going to get duplicated at some point here. an ice block to keep my Arcanist going. So we're going to deal with the fact we're going to get... Oh, no, I, I don't have enough mana to cast him. Damn it. I was hoping I was going to get him out this turn and start him growing and stuff, but, yeah, it's going to be difficult. I don't think playing the ice block is a priority. I don't know if he's going to kill Toshley. I'm not going to have the mana to recast him anytime, sooner if he, anytime soon if he does, but... I think I'm just going to work on keeping these guys down for now. Maybe I should work on softening up his Toshley so mine can kill him eventually if I Cone of Cold. 
I don't know. This this reduces the amount of damage incoming. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna assume that I'll like have time for the ice block later. King Mukla. Why would you do that? Oh no. Aw, oh, you bastard. Okay, well, we know what I've got to kill. We don't know why you time rewinded your guy. Apparently, the, the spare parts make you dumber. Good to know. Uh, the Frost Nova is pretty good, but Cho has to die, or I'm not going to make any progress. I take some beatings. Can I leave him alive for one turn? No, because uh, casting a Frost Nova would give him a Frost Nova. Yeah, no, no, gotta kill that. And I don't know what kind of horrible stuff is going to come out, but I'm going to throw one banana on my Toshley. Uh, let's give him both bananas. I'm, I'm sure I'll get screwed. It'll, he'll, he'll get Tink Master Oversparked or something. Although, I realized after playing last time that Tink Master Overspark doesn't control his target anymore, so... There's another big thing I have to deal with. Okay. So I'd like to get him out. I think it's still a little too early. If I shoot this guy, then I can Frost Nova them. Kill the Toshley. Or actually, I can kill either one of them, right? So I can Frost Nova them and kill the Flame Leviathan. Again, him being really down is okay-ish, because I... I'll get him duplicated. Yeah, we'll just go that way. Because right now, the Cone of Cold can't kill the 1-1 and get anyone useful because Nat Peggle is kind of wasting space there. Maybe I should be killing Nat Peggle, but I don't know. i got to get rid of this thing. I gotta get out the Arcanist soon. It'll be good. The Windlord, really? Always with the Windlord. Okay, so I'm gonna want a Cone of Cold next turn. Again, not Cone of Cold and not kill the Jiren Crab with Vice. Of course, if I suicide talk, he, if he's not attacking my guys, I can't even duplicate them. Wait a sec. Oh, I might have a huge problem here. I was assuming that guys would ever get duplicated. Oh uh, boy. Gotta keep coning his guys to stop them from killing me. That's kind of non optional. But yeah, I'm not gonna get him duplicated, apparently. So I might as well use him to kill the Wind Lord. Do you have any, like, I'll get out the sheep in case he gets Ragnaros or something. I can get that duplicated, but it's not fantastic. Actually, if he gets duplicated, then I won't be able to duplicate this guy, and he won't be growing either, so that could be a problem. Well, what's Mechatork going to do? Wow, he did trigger that. That was unexpected. So I've got extra sheep, which is okay, but it's not quite as much advantage as I was hoping to get out of that. Still, I can damn near clear the board. I can't do it and play Mirror Entity, though. If I go sheep, sheep, shoot the sheep, that's going to do four damage to everything. So that will kill everything but Mukla. But Mukla is going to damn near kill me. Now, I could play Sheep Sheep and hope that he will attack with this. I don't think this guy's going to attack first, though, is he? Does it... I haven't actually learned if there's a specific order in which the computer attacks with these guys. I'm assuming he tries to manipulate what's 
going to die. The mirror entity would be really good. I have to I have to set off the the sheep myself though. I can't I can't just count on him to do that. Ah. Uh. I'm still going to be just as screwed. He's got more spare parts. He's got Illidan, and then he can cast someone else. Thalnos is actually one of his, like, crappiest cards. It still draws him another guy, though, which I guess, now that he has so much mana, is pretty good. But he doesn't have, like, the spell power stuff. So is there any way that I can survive this turn? That's step one. Seems dubious. I can shoot Mukla, that's two mana. I mean, I guess I can polymorph Illidan. But then I can't do anything useful. Like, I'm never gaining any ground, ever, under any circumstances. But how else do I even survive? I'm going to mostly be killed by all the 1-1s one and tr other trash, even if I do, like, shoot him or him. I don't see what else I can do and still be alive. The reversing switch this guy down to a 1-2. Whoopee. I mean, I could frostbolt him, which is a gigantic waste of a frostbolt, but I need to somehow get a foothold. Pretty dumb, but it... I don't know. I'm just that screwed that it doesn't even really matter. I can buy a turn with the ice block, obviously. Oh, yeah, maybe I would have been okay, actually, if I had Ice Blocked and Mirror Entity, just ignore the fact that I was going to get crushed. Got a mirror, I would have got a copy of Faux Reaper. But no. A copy of Faux Reaper would have been pretty good. Okay, well, we're going to Arcanist. Ice Block. Shooting him just gives him another card. Like, he has no spell power. He's not better than these other 1-1s. One um, I'm going to get not beat down anyway. I'm not going to bother shooting you one one, so I'm just going to play the Mad Scientist. Now, does he do anything with his minions, or does he just not bother? That's different. Ah, that's not helping at all. Now we've got the 15 second clock. Instead of having no time limit on turns, I've got to think fast. Never good. Uh, Sludge Belcher might buy me precious seconds, potentially. I'll play the Mirror Entity. Do I shoot him? Flipping, if I flipped him, he might be able to... Now, Nazdormu's going to kill him anyway. Yeah, I don't think it matters. Copy of Mayxna, not the worst. Not the best either, but... Uh, where did I get duplicated? These guys. Under normal circumstances, that'd be pretty good, but I'm actually, I really needed it to duplicate the, uh, the taunt. Without the, if, if it copied the Sludge Belcher, I maybe could have hung in here for a few more turns, but I'm toast. Okay. There goes next, huh? I got a Frost Nova. I can waste more time. Play one of these guys. Shoot that. Uh, 
kill Faux Reaper, he's actually, I think, the worst, because he'll kill, like, all my forces all the time. And we're going to grow you anyway, because I can. Wow, this guy is, like, pretty relentless. I go to all that effort to do okay for a turn. He did just discard his entire hand. If I could draw something, it would kill Deathwing. Next turn, I guess, because it's not going to be this turn. If I could draw something, it would kill Deathwing. Oh, Hogger's not helping. I mean, anything he gets is going to be bad, right? But... That means I'm not getting through to him anytime soon. Not that that was the issue, but it means I'm not going to be able to control who I get packed with this to kill things. Unless I explosive sheep. Deathwing's still going to kill me, though. I have no way around Deathwing killing me, unfortunately. I'm able to get rid of Hogger and stuff like that, but... Did not draw what I need to get rid of Deathwing. Um... Technically, if I reversing switch Hogger, I can kill him and not lose my guy. Whoopee! Banana. This is a pretty rough match. I'm not sure exactly what I am going to do about it. I'm going to have to figure that out next time. Please click the legendary like button.